All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the X Newbie cathode um, to create a primary battery using aluminum cans. Um, you can see, it's just an aluminum can with the uh, top cut off of it. I've actually stuffed the top down in that one. I can take it out. So this is what will make it. This is the X Newbie cathode. It's a, kind of an emergency stick, the ultimate survival battery. It'll be used to light this light up um, for as long as I want it to. What I'm doing is I'm wrapping this in paper towel and then I'm taking a piece of uh, aluminum foil making a, you'll see. So I take this, I wrap it in paper towel. You want to be careful when you wrap it in the paper towel to make sure that the bottom and the top are very, very well covered. You do not want the black to touch any of the aluminum. And I like to make very, very sure. Then you take your aluminum. Next, these connections are kind of a pain between your aluminum and your copper. I spread my aluminum foil out. Make sure you guys can see that. I spread it out. Um, and then that way I can take the copper line that runs out of the X Nubi cathode. that aluminum foil around the, the copper and then I put an alligator clip on there and I squeeze very hard. Uh, these connections are kind of a pain. So now what I've got is 10 coke can or aluminum cans surrounded um, and then I'll be using these alligator clips that I've got wire already attached to like this and then this battery would essentially be on standby right now um, it's not lighting up this light at all yet um, I've got a solution over here of water with uh, about a tablespoon of sodium hydroxide and uh, 10 tablespoons of iodized salt in it uh, into a gallon a tablespoon of sodium hydroxide 10 tablespoons of iodized salt into a gallon of distilled water and then pour it into here to make it easier and I'm only going to fill them up about halfway uh, just because I'm going to end up stuffing more aluminum in them to make these primary batteries last a long time hopefully I want to see also if there ends up being holes in the bottom of the can tomorrow morning in which case these all need to be in cups uh, you shouldn't you should wear gloves when you do this I did test the pH of this water uh, just for reference it's 11.25 um, which is enough to chew your skin up a little bit um, but as you can tell I got some on my thumb and I'm not screaming and crying yet
Oops, I refilled that guy. There is a pretty decent chance that one of my connections will be screwed up and this isn't going to light up the light when I first touch it, in which case I'll have to go around with a uh, voltage meter and find where a connection is off. Um, and that happens quite a bit, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I do not hit it every time, the first time. So now we take our black, this will be our negative where it goes into the anode or the aluminum. We take black, we take the red and it is very well lit. Um, and it would burn like this for quite some time. Uh, I got a phone charger around here. I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to show you guys this aluminum Coke can battery uh, charging a cell phone. 